Good morning from the south coast of Iceland. This is a location called Prusavikerberg. I probably killed that again. Um, but a great place to look at some of these sea cliffs here and decipher what we can about uh, the geology here. Uh, and then we're gonna look just down the coast a little bit. Uh, it's a mass wasting features as well. So we're probably, oh, several hundred feet, maybe 300 or so feet above the ocean there. <clears throat> and one of the more uh, dramatic contacts that I've seen is this really beautiful contact here. You can see the white car. And then there's this beautiful contact between these brown uh, bedded rocks to the right and these black basaltic lava flows here. And so this ridge up above me is made of these bedded, um, these are again, these, these, this might be one of these Moberg ridges or Tindars that we learned about in another video, uh, but sort of a, another tough breccia, lots of broken fragments in here, rocks of various sizes. Uh, definitely a volcanic breccia, um, but seems to have the all the characteristics of interacting with lava at some point, lava and water interacting. You can see it's a little more of the pelagonite altered color down here. Uh, but we can see that that's all bedded and that's sitting underneath these basaltic lava flows. So not sure where those lava flows came from, but this contact here is beautiful because you can actually see the lava flows sort of lapping up and then pinching off as they sort of ride, rode up over uh, these bedded deposits here. Just really dramatic and remarkable. Um, we can see some of the, the, the strong surf and wave action down there undercutting the cliffs. Lots of big rounded boulders. The seabirds seem to like it as well. Um, and then let's head down this way where we can see some of the the mass wasting processes at work here so we've got more of this volcanic tough volcanic breccia where the ash and the particles have been kind of ripped apart i'm not sure what this tripod is i would guess it's some sort of marker to ships similar to a lighthouse maybe not sure, um, but kind of a large tripod here along the coast. Um, another view back at that contact, uh, just below the car there. And with <clears throat> this ridge that I'm standing on being made up of this volcanic tough breccia, um, it's somewhat softer material than the harder lava flows. And so as the wave action from the surf constantly pounds at the lower portion of this cliff face, it undercuts it uh, and it sets the stage for uh, mass wasting processes. Here's, as an aside real quick, here's uh, some large clasts uh, embedded in this tough breath just you can see this this big clast here uh, there's two more right there another one there a lot of these look uh, like older basalts that got ripped up and incorporated in the eruption uh, but the main thing we wanted to look at over here was some of the effects of mass wasting mass wasting is just a fancy term for gravity induced um, movement so landslides is one type but mud flows uh, creep there's a whole series of things like that uh, and we can see some of the effects of that here we can see a lot of ang a lot more angular rocks here than what we saw down the coast so this is in a fairly actively eroding uh, cliff face along the ocean here and we even have this large detached pinnacle, which is presumably primed and ready to go at some point in the near future. Um, 
that's already detached away from the main face and is moving out towards the ocean. When we get strong swells and storm systems in the North Atlantic, it produces a lot of energy that can cause these sections to fail. We can already see some of the effects up here along the top with the soil as well. Um, we'll go a little bit further out here, I guess. It's a nice morning for a walk. Can't see any of the goats around. Uh, this looks just like a little stream, like a gully uh, that's eroded down and has cut through some of the soil and the grass here. But yeah, an actively changing and dynamic landscape, this coastline, uh, one in which the sea is constantly at work providing uh, the energy. We can see here some, some fractures and cracks developing in the soil. So presumably there's a, a large fracture running down through uh, the rock below us, and that could destabilize at some point and collapse uh, into the ocean as well. So kind of view back up to the west there, along the coast. Birds seem to be happy. And let's take one last look over here. Yeah, here's another section where uh, this section is starting to uh, show the signs of collapse with these big holes and fractures. Another one right along here. Don't want to get too close there. So, beautiful landscape here on the south coast of Iceland.